So now we're going to talk about finding raw scores from z-scores. And so we're going to take the z-formula and rearrange it to solve for x. So instead of going from x to z, we're going from z to x. So here's our z-formula, right? And now we're going to solve for x. So we're going to multiply it by the standard deviation. And on the right side, it's going to cancel out. So we're going to have z times the standard deviation equals x minus the mean. And now we're going to add the mean to get rid of it on the right side so we can have x by itself. Okay, and so then we have x here on the right side all by itself. So if we move everything to the, the x to the left side to make it how we normally see formulas, we're going to have x equals the mean plus z times the standard deviation. So this is the formula we're going to use if we want to find a raw score from a z-score. Now I'm going to talk about how to use this formula. So say we have this distribution that has a mean of 2, a standard deviation of 1, and, is, and we want to know what a raw value would be in this distribution if it had a z-score of negative 1. Okay? So we know that a z-score of negative 1 means that we're 1 standard deviation below the mean. And on this distribution I have, on the bottom here, I have different values. So in the middle I have the 2, which is the mean, and then I go up by 1 standard deviation to the right. So 3 is 1 standard deviation above the mean. And then we go add another 1, because that's a standard deviation. And so 4 is 2 standard deviations above the mean. 5 is 3 standard deviations above the mean. If we go to the left of the mean, we're subtracting 1, right? We want to go below the mean 1 standard deviation, and the standard deviation is 1. So 2 minus 1 is 1, so that's 1 standard deviation below the mean. And then if we go 1 more, 0 is 2 standard deviations below the mean, and negative 1 is 3 standard devi deviations below the mean, okay? And we have the z-score of negative 1, so we want to know what's the raw value of a z-score of negative 1, and we know that Negative 1 means for 1 standard deviation below the mean, so we're just going to go to the left for 1 standard deviation. And so we know by just doing this that the answer is 1. But let's use the formula just in case it's not as, as simple and maybe the z-score is not a perfect whole number. It's like 1.5 or 1.75 or something like that, and so it's a little harder to figure out. So we're going to, in those cases, need to use the formula. But you can see how intuitively this formula works. So we're going to fill in the formula. So x equals the mean plus the z-score, which is negative 1, times 1. And so that just means we're doing 2 minus 1. And 2 minus 1 is 1. And so we get the same answer either way. So that's how we would use the formula.